Hey to you, my dear students in Science, Technology, and Society. So, I'm Sean Xavier Aguilita, and this will be our next topic on technology and its relationship to our happiness in life, which means the good life. So let's take a further look. So before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube page. Okay, so the objectives of this lesson that the students will be able to examine what is meant by a good life identify how humans attempt to attain what is deemed to be a good life and recognize possibilities available to human being to attain the good life okay so let us start with plato and aristotle so aristotle and how we all aspire for a good life so plato and aristotle embarked um, embark on a different approach in figuring out reality so plato thought that things in this world are not real so what is real for plato is something that is invisible to your naked eye so therefore uh, anything that you can't touch anything that you can't see uh, is for plato is something that is real and only the things in this world are just only the mere copies of the of the real world for him and for Plato these are what we call it the world of forms and ideas and for Plato change is so perplexing that it can only make sense if there are two realities the world of forms and the world of matter so in the world of matter things are changing and impermanent but in the world of ideas and forms, the entities are the only copies of the ide ideal and the models and the forms are the real entities. So for Plato, what is perfect, what is true, what is beautiful, and what is just, just only rests in the world of ideas and forms. now here goes aristotle a student of plato for 17 years so aristotle discovered later that he forwarded the idea that there is no reality over and above what the senses can perceive that is why aristotle is a realist unlike with his teacher plato plato is an idealist philosopher <coughs> now Claiming that this world is all there is to it, and that this world is the only reality we can all access. So, Aristotle said that he declares that even human beings are potentialities who aspire for their actuality. And every action that emanates from a human person is a function of the purpose, or what we call it, the, tel the telos, the end the person has that is why for Aristotle all actions all activities geared towards a certain end and that end is what we call it the telos there's always a purpose of what we do okay so every human person aspires for an end that's why that's the first sentence in this Nicomachean ethics the end is happiness or human flourishing and it claims that happiness is be all and end all of that we do so human flourishing is a kind of contentment in knowing that one is getting the best out of life um, in my next our uh, video i'll show you in depth detail of what it takes to be uh, human flourishing and how can we attain happiness in this life according to Aristotle so let's proceed further okay so in this slide I'll show you the different view of happiness from different schools of thought the first 
one that I'm going to um, emphasize here is the materialism. So for the materialists, the first materialists were the atomists in ancient Greece, like Leucippus and Democritus. And according to these two thinkers, they believe that everything um, is made up of small particles called atomos or seeds or atoms. That is where the concept of atoms began to exist from Democritus and Leucippus. For Democritus and his disciples, the world, including human beings, is made up of matter. Only material entities matter uh, in terms of human flourishing. Matter is what makes at us attain happiness. Uh, another materialist in the name of Karl Marx, who adopted what we call it as dialectical materialism into the concept of socialism and communism, that according to Karl Marx, that dialectical materialism comes in that human as we are, we work. Uh, in order to achieve, uh, in order to attain our needs. And the tools that we work for, the tools that we use in our work are the mere extensions of our own being, for on our own humanity. So these tools, these material things are the mere, ex uh, mere, uh, are the mere extensions of our own humanity. So that is what we call it the dialectical materialism. The next one is hedonism. So hedonists um, view that happiness consists of, of doing anything with regards to pleasure. So anything that is pleasurable is good for them. So according to Calicles, that uh, sensual pleasures for food, drink, and sex makes life worth living. So, hedonists, for their part, they see goal in life is to acquire pleasure, to obtain pleasure. Life is more on indulging pleasures. So, the mantra of this school of thought is the famous eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we die. The next one, on the opposite side, is what we call it stoicism, no? that the idea of happiness is through the attainment of through the practice not the attainment it's through the practice of self-discipline so one can learn to distance oneself and be apathetic for the stoics happiness can only be attained in the practice of apathy but for the others uh, happiness can also be attained in the practice of self-discipline and that is according to Epictetus. Okay, so another one is the theism. So these are the people who believe in God. No? And for them, that the ultimate happiness is to be in the union with God in the next life. So, the world where we are in is just only a temporary reality. So, where we have to maneuver around while waiting for the ultimate return to the hands of God. So, for the theists, these are the people who claim that God really exists. And the basis of the existence of God can either be of two, uh, two ways. The first one is the ontological argument. And the other one is the cosmological argument. So the cosmological argument of God's existence that we can explain uh, God's existence through the use of our own experience. Through the use of our sensible experience. Like uh, the best example is St. Thomas Aquinas. That uh, the experience about motion, movement, uh, causality, contingency, degrees of perfection, and the order in the universe can also be a test that there is God behind it. And the second one is what we call it uh, the ontological argument. So when you say ontological argument, your demarcation point is start, to start with your own thinking, 
that all of us humans can also thought or can also think of those ideas that are absolute absolute ideas for example when if i say 3 plus 4 that is already considered it as the total 7 so 7 is the absolute idea so therefore our if we can conceive anything about what is an absolute thought we can also thought of an idea of an absolute being which is God the next one is the humanism or I can also say existentialism that for the existentialists the freedom of man to carve his own destiny and to legislate his own values, morals, and laws, free from the shackles of the God that monitors and controls. You know? And the humanists see themselves not merely as stewards of the creation, but as individuals who are in control of themselves and the world outside them. So, in a, for the existentialists, uh, it is through the use of your freedom you, that you can achieve your essence in life. You, uh, you can also, uh, through the use of your freedom, you can also um, create your own values. You create your own uh, principles in life. Not only that, you can create your own future as well as your being. So, in other words, that when you were born, you're born as an existent being without an essence. So in Tagalog, uh, putok sa buho ang, ang ang buhay mo dito sa lupa, no? Putok sa buho talaga. So that is what we call it as an existentialism. That our life began as an existence. That is why existence precedes essence. Okay, next. So, discussion points. What is the good life? And what is the relationship between the good life and science? And how does technology, uh, does technology always lead us to the good life? How and why? Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, don't please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube page for more videos in Philo One as well as in STS subject.